Hey there friends, it's Shannon. Today's painting video is going to be a little bit different. I spent all day yesterday painting and I decided to change things up a little bit and try to focus on creating some abstract smaller paintings. I was working with an 8x10 canvas board and then I had two smaller 5x7 canvas boards. Those will be separate videos. But I really wanted to push myself outside my comfort zone. I tend to paint a lot more expressionist style, very loosey-goosey, but I really wanted to try to go even more abstract. I've been watching some videos and I was feeling inspired to really just loosen up and try something new. And I learned very quickly that that wasn't very easy to do. <laughs> So as you can see, I started with a ultramarine blue base coat just to loosen up. I do this every time I paint, I start with a base coat, no matter what color it is, even if it's white, just to get paint on the canvas, get myself into that creative mode. And then I started putting down some black and white marks. And when I tell you this was very outside my comfort zone, I really wanted to approach this entire day of painting as just very playful, very unplanned, and see where it went. And the thing I learned is that it was even more outside my comfort zone than I ever anticipated it being. And also, I thought I was an abstract artist, and y'all, I am not. <laughs> not yet, anyways. Um, you know, I'm still very, very new to the painting and art world. I was a theater and design major in college, and I did a lot of design work when I graduated. I was a graphic designer. I worked so much in Photoshop and Illustrator, and I think that's why I tend to prefer doing the digital art most days, but I'm really wanting to focus and spend a lot more time doing traditional painting. So yesterday was all about experimentation, seeing how it felt, playing with colors, and I was surprised how quickly I got really frustrated with myself. Um, you know, when I'm painting an expressionist style painting, I have an idea in my head of what I want to do. I have an idea of the colors I'm going to use. And yesterday was a complete free for all where I learned very quickly. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of practice to do. You know, as artists, we're constantly learning. We're constantly trying new things. And the biggest lesson I learned yesterday is that, well, I learned a lot of lessons yesterday. But a big one is to be patient. You know, I tell myself all the time, I've said this, I've done whole podcast episodes about being patient with yourself. You know, we're all beginners in life in so many ways. You know, anytime we're trying something new, we cannot expect ourselves to be amazing and perfect. And, you know, I've said in other videos, every piece is not going to be a masterpiece. So this is pretty interesting watching back to where I started. I was actually a lot more free-flowing in the beginning, but I wasn't loving the colors. I started kind of muted and then I and then I wanted to add in more vibrant, brighter colors to lighten up the piece. But this is still very much where I'm a newbie where I forgot that the more paint you add, you know, the wetter it gets, the longer it takes to dry between layers. I was playing around a lot with texture and when I paint, I tend to paint pretty thin so it dries quickly. So when I was getting more textured and using all these daubs of paint, it takes a lot longer for it to dry and going on top of all of that, It just constantly felt like I was adding to a mud puddle after a while. And this piece in particular evolved so much throughout the day. And honestly, by the end of the day, 
I was so frustrated and I felt like I wasted so much paint. I went through a lot of really tough feelings yesterday. A couple things I also did differently were, all right, so here I'm literally squeezing wet yellow paint onto the canvas and letting it drip. And I kind of wish I had stopped at this point, but I kept going. I wanted more layers, more layers, more colors. Oh my goodness. I was so much up in my head yesterday. So a few things that contributed to, I think some of my frustration was, as you can see, I'm sitting here at my desk space painting. Normally I like to be standing and moving around a little bit, moving my body, stepping away. And yesterday I decided to sit and paint and I sat in this spot for about five hours, not consecutively, but it was definitely a different experience for me sitting in a chair painting all day. I also was not listening to music, which I normally do. I had my phone perched above me and I'm saving up for some ear pods so I can listen to music without being tied to wires attached to my phone. Um, but yeah, not listening to any music. I was listening to my kids watching TV and doing school. Everybody was home yesterday. It was just kind of a very busy, distracted day. And I was trying to focus on the painting. And again, like not listening to music, I just got so much into my head that I was struggling. I, I could feel that I was struggling and I didn't like it. <laughs> it's hard when you know you're not in your comfort zone and you're not liking what you're seeing and you know that it's not done and you have a long way to go and you're not sure where it's going to go. And I think a lot of creating abstract art is learning to be patient with yourself and learning to be patient with the process. You know, we want everything to be done so quickly and that's something that I'm still working on. You know, not every painting is gonna be done in an hour or so. All right, so at this point I decided to stop and let it sit for a little while and maybe dry up a little bit so I could do some more layering. You can see a lot of the marks. There's a lot of texture, a lot of energy, and a lot of color. This is not anything what it's gonna look like. All right, you can see the other two paintings I did in between. Those will be separate videos, but those were five by seven canvas boards. So this is the afternoon now, and I thought I had stepped away and cleared my head and I was gonna start fresh, really brighten it up, lighten it up a little bit. I'm, I'm able to laugh at it today, but yesterday, um, had a lot of emotions going on. I was not in a great mood approaching this entire process. I think another thing I am gonna try next when I do some more abstract is to work on a bigger canvas. So standing up, moving around, using a larger canvas space to work with, working with a small, I wanted to make much bigger marks um, as you can see here, I'm playing around a lot more with taking big daubs of paint and just covering up these huge spaces on a small canvas. So I think next time I'm going to work on a much bigger canvas and see how I feel. Working on a smaller canvas can be really challenging. <laughs> Obviously, you just you don't have as much space. You have to be really intentional with every single mark. Not that you don't have to be intentional with your marks on larger canvases, but it's um you know, every size of an art piece brings its own challenges. As you can see, I really just wanted to cover this up <laughs> and kind of give it a fresh start. But I, again, quickly realized the more paint you layer on, the more texture you give, you need to let it sit and dry 
I even brought my hair dryer down at one point and I was blow drying my paintings so that I could work on them more. I started playing around with the idea of abstract flowers, very floral, warm tones. I think one of the things that was hard for me was not really going into this with any sort of idea of what I wanted it to look like in the end. I started very free flowing and just putting colors down and I didn't really have a goal. And I think, you know, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it because it forces you to really loosen up and you know, just kind of enjoy the process, but <laughs> Sometimes when there's no goal and no guide, you know, it's really funny now that I'm watching this. There are different points in this piece where I do really like it. And maybe it's because I'm looking at it upside down. But, <laughs> oh, art is an adventure, right? <laughs> So at this point, I'm starting to want to add more pinks, more reds and yellows, and figure out how I'm going to create a composition with all these layers, all this wet paint. It was literally soaking through the board. I think it's important to have days like this and be okay with having days like this where the art, it just is what it is. Even if, whether you love it or hate it, just exploring the process, trying new techniques, seeing what you like and seeing what you don't like. You know, in my head I was like, oh, creating an abstract is gonna be a beautiful journey and I just wanted to scream yesterday. I was <laughs> so frustrated. I just kept adding more and more and more. And what's funny is letting the final piece dry, which you'll see at the end of this video, letting the final piece dry overnight and looking at it this morning, I knew in an instant I'm going to paint over it. I'm going to paint over it. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to use all the texture that I built up yesterday with all these layers of paint to make something new. But it's all part of the process. It's all about learning to be patient with yourself and with your level of experience. I think I do, at the core, I do really enjoy abstract I enjoy the playfulness of it I just need to practice right sometimes we all just need to acknowledge that we can all practice we can always be learning more we can always be trying new things if we get to a point where we feel 100% comfortable with what we do with our work it's time to change things up And I hope if you are also a beginner artist, don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid to use your materials. I kept having this thought running through my head that I was using so much paint, I was being wasteful, I was being wasteful, I was being wasteful. But you know what, I can always buy more paint. I can always buy more paint. I can always buy more canvas. But the experience of using these things to make something. Sometimes it's not about the art, it's about what's going on inside your head and in your heart and the lesson that you're learning by going through this entire process. <laughs>